My name is uh, Barakat Kiros. I am here at MMRTI, Multimedia Resource and Training Institute, on behalf of WAMA, Washington Africa Media Association. We were part of the Excuse Constantine Tower Shoreline COVID-19 Assessment Recovery Facility at Shoreline. As everybody knows, uh, this unprecedented uh, uh, virus is affecting all communities regardless of their color or the, regardless of where they live. And part of this, uh, part of this uh, media, we present ourselves uh, with a credential at King County Executive Don Constantine and Regional Leaders World Tower. And we were part of the media as well. The Shoreline COVID-19 Assessment and Recovery Center uh, hold, a few, uh, hold a brief uh, media availability. And we have uh, some questions to ask. But also, we have to talk about uh, what it looks like. Built by King County, soccer field owned by City of Shoreline. The 140 bed facility will provide assessment and recovery care for individuals who are not able to recover on their own at their own homes uh, or do have uh, to come here for the recovery center. Uh, one of the questions that I have to you is most of the sites for quarantine are mainly dominated by communities of color. Is there any racial kit applied, race and social justice in those? Uh, can you say something in terms of that? The question is, in selecting sites around the county, do we apply a, an equity or, or a equity racial lens. justice lens? And the answer is yes. We have, a, we have a, a screen that we go through to identify whether there are disparate impacts uh, to the extent there are impacts based on where the facility is located. Uh, I would uh, contest your assertion that most of the isolation quarantine facilities are uh, in uh, communities of color or in lower income communities. We have a, a hotel in Issaquah uh, that is opening up, I believe, is, is ready now, okay. ready, ready to go. Uh, we're here in Shoreline today. Uh, we are making an effort to have facilities across the entire county. It is a fact that there are more hotels in particular that are uh, vacant right now uh, in more outlying areas than in, in the uh, center of Seattle. But even in Seattle, we have a uh, warehouse, we have uh, units on Harbor Island we've set up, we have uh, modular facilities on properties, on city properties, and we're looking at county properties as well. Uh, we are making every attempt to have the whole community uh, share the, the, the facilities that are needed for us to get through this. So I, just I want to talk first about our overall strategy. The first and most important strategy is to prevent infection from happening. And so that's why I start with chiding you about social distancing and physical distancing. Uh, there is no substitute for avoiding becoming infected in the first place, for preventing yourself from infecting others. Uh, everything after that is uh, very uh, resource intensive, labor intensive, and uh, can be extremely dangerous. Uh, the second thing we need to do is prevent our hospitals from being overwhelmed. This has been a tragedy you've seen unfold in Italy and other places in this country and around the world where uh, the hospitals have so many patients who need acute care that they cannot care for them. They don't have the personnel, they don't have the rooms, they don't have the equipment. We are determined to fight against that. We do not want that to happen here in our community. On behalf of uh, WAMA, Washington Africa Media Association and MMRTI, Multimedia Resource and Training Institute, we urge our community and all communities to be abide by the CDC uh, and also by the governor's uh, two weeks quarantine. And also we have to keep up uh, our social distance as much as possible. Stay home, stay health, wash hand, do all the things that is necessary to protect yourself and the family and the community as well. Thank you.